Hey guys, I'm back again. Thought I'd do a review on the Everest uh, by Red Cat Crawler. Uh, I'm doing this review kind of a different way than what you normally see online. Uh, I believe in, uh, not that anyone else is wrong in the way they do their reviews or anything, but I don't believe you can do a review unless you've had something and you've used it for a while. So uh, on this network I just wanted to get it out there that uh, we're going to do it a little bit different and change things up uh, and that's how we're going to do our reviews here as you can see uh, I've had this Red Cat Everest for quite some time now it, it's dirty it's beat up um, many many batteries ran through it uh, lots and lots of fun and uh, here on this channel and for myself, and speaking only for myself, uh, the, the greatest part about this uh, hobby of RCs and the biggest factor for me is uh, the fun factor. You know, uh, a lot of things that play in that fun factor, uh, as you'll see as the video collection builds and this channel builds, hopefully, is uh, what determines that fun factor is cost uh durability capabilities and uh what you can do with the model you know uh, but i think those are pretty much the main factors on everything you know uh like i said the the cost and the durability because you know you, you pay way too much for a model and it doesn't work or it works but you constantly have problems or uh you know the capabilities aren't there the fun factor is just not there so uh, anyway I'm just gonna go over this like I said I've uh, I've had this um, model here or should I say RC uh, truck crawler uh, by Red Cat for quite some time I, I believe I bought it for uh, around 200 and change maybe $200 I mean and I'm telling you for $200 what this is, is a steal. Uh, I have the TR uh, X4, the Traxxas. Uh, like a lot of the Traxxas products, I, I think they're uh, really strong right now on the market and their they're stuff they're coming out, their engineering and everything else is just incredible. But you cannot beat this truck for $200. Uh, they have another model. Um, it's the pro version this is just the red cat everest it's kind of like the basic model and the pro version has got the roof rack up here and i think it's got a, another tire and a gas can and a few other things but uh my brother-in-law actually has that truck and we've competed a few times uh messing around uh here in my house uh, another video i'll show you my indoor crawler course i built in my hobby room here uh but uh Quite a few times last winter, we uh, get together on Sundays and just uh, run a little competition with our trucks. And that truck, we had to do a lot of things to keep it from rolling over. It seemed like it liked to be on its lid more than it did its tires. Uh, but anyway, um, going over this, the trucks, I cannot speak enough for the durability for this truck. This truck has fallen from... 10 or 15 feet down onto the ground. My children have thrown it uh, five or six feet in the air for my crawler course, several times falling off the suspension bridges, slammed on the nose, on the on the roof, on the tail, on the sides. Uh, the only problems that I have had with this truck, and I'm talking after several, several, several uh accidents of it falling or just straight up misabuse it only problem that i've ever had is i've broken the front bumper i've replaced it and i've broken the rear bumper and i have broken one of the cross members here let's see if i can get in there on there broken one of the the rear cross members there and i've replaced it and uh, or, or should i say i'm sorry the rear uh bumper cross member and that was the only problems I've ever had with it I have changed out 
the steering servo put another cheapy stronger steering servo in there the servo was fine it was lacking a little but it still did what you wanted it to do um nothing you know starting out for the price of 200 dollars, it was anything really to complain about to be honest uh and there's nothing really to complain about this model the tires are great uh you know the compounds great they work uh like i've said i've climbed up things and over things with this truck that's two hundred dollars as my five or six hundred dollar trx4 does that's twice as complicated and twice as you know the engineering uh very simple very basic um no problems with the ESC. The ESC can be ran on nickel or a lipo battery by switching a plug, depending on you know what jacket you put the plug on, set up for lipo or nickel. I like running the lipo in it because it's just that little extra that this model needed. Um, still runs fine on the nickel battery, is fine. Um, I just like that little extra wheel speed that the um, two cell lipo battery gives this model. Um, you can also adjust the drag brake up and off of that. Um, and this kit also comes with these plates here. And with these plates, it gives you the, it changes the option of you having pins or you can have Velcro. As you see here, I set up for Velcro, make it look kind of a little bit more like scale when you have the body on there. I thought that was kind of cool. Like I said, we're on a $200 model. A lot of the more expensive ones don't even offer that. So I thought that was a kind of a cool feature to mention there. And then uh, overall, I just want to say um, really no complaints. And like I said, for around, I can't stress enough for around $200, how impressed I am with just this Red Cat Everest. We've used this. We've had uh, parties here at my house. I've had my nephews over. And my, I have two younger small boys this thing has been through hell and it's just come out shining every time uh, no complaints and every time that it's fallen or it's they've had the wheel rammed into a rock and they're torquing the throttle all the way nothing has broken on this thing i, I cannot say enough how impressed i am with this 200 hundred dollar model it has given me loads and loads and loads of fun it's had loads of usage very little problems and the problems that I have had have been nothing but self-induced issues with this vehicle. I have to give Red Cat a thumbs up. Great job, guys. There should be more of these out there like this. And please come out with more like this. I mean, it'll do great for the industry, I believe. And uh, it, it just reaches the larger masses. And I just, I cannot say enough again, Red Cat, great job. Uh, I'm going to give a rating of this vehicle on the fun factor here. I'm going to give this vehicle an 8 because of the cost is low. Its capabilities are there and it does what this thing was designed and actually does it better than I thought it would for the cost of this model and the engineering on this model. And it just puts the fun factor up there, like I said, at an 8. Everything on this model, even though it's cheap, it has quality. And like I said, when you got that quality, you're not working on it, and you're using the model, the fun factor's there, and it never seems to go away with this truck. So nothing's perfect. I'm going to give it an 8. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button. Remember, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys the next time. Thanks again.